So a friend of mine bought a old farmhouse and he's redoing it and this trailer was back in the weeds and he drug it out and he needed to get rid of it and he asked me if I'd come and get it and get it out of here and he said I might be able to use some of the some of the steel that's on it because there's a lot of C-channel here a lot of plate steel I think the trailer itself is pretty much used up but uh, I told him yeah I'd come get it So I know this looks crazy <laughs> but this was given to him uh, for the steel some of it's no good but the upright C-channel is pretty decent um, some antique um, carriage parts on it. The antique wood and the running gear and a bunch of stuff. So we're going to see it put it on marketplace see if somebody wants it. Um, so I'm sure some people may uh, restore those. I mean the parts aren't great but there may be something they want. I would hate to throw it away. So we're going to be cutting this up so we can clean this mess up. And then we'll just scrap the rest of it, of the metal that we don't want. bandsaw an old bandsaw on here i don't know i like old stuff so i'll rummage through it but man you see this thing losing yeah that's pretty strong like huh <laughs> yeah mm, let's get this off and you can sort your good you see the axle back there no over there over there running gear axle I have to go all the way around this big thing. Oh yeah, I saw those leaf springs. I just didn't know what what they went to. Huh? See what the other side looks like, but it might be running gear. Yeah, we'll see. All right, I'll help you unhook it. Well, we got most of the stuff cleared out. This is the bandsaw. It's really old. It's either a cast iron or cast steel base and it's really heavy. I thought we were going to lift it out of there, but yeah. It's too heavy. So up she goes. like to back up but I can't because look yeah we put all the the wagon parts behind the cradle <laughs> ended up with four wagon wheels I think two are the same and two aren't but check that out the whole running gear well minus the wheels of course but the framework metal steel work for a buggy isn't that cool Crescent Machine, Latonia, Ohio, USA. It's pretty cool. Look at that. Nice base. All about that base. <laughs> it was turning. I thought I had it turning. I'll have to try it again. It was turning. Yeah. It, it may just. Down. Yeah. Someone looks like they may have had this set up worth. A V belt and electric motor too. And I don't know if it was supposed to have that or not. This would be the flat belt, I would think. I don't know, it's pretty cool.
to start it up at the top, and these are just going to be the bottom to make it easier. Some people might think this is a waste of time. I mean, this is rusty, but it's still it's just surface rust. I mean, there's some places that are bad, but he'll obviously not use that or cut it off. But it feels so expensive these days, and I mean, why not? You know? Put it in our stockpile for when we need it. lift that top one off. Now the fun part, you gotta uh, suspend the top rail. It's just gonna fall on it. 
think that part's ready. This one's not. You might be able to go up here with your ladder and hold that side. Okay, I'll try. I'll try it. This is the last piece. Is it gonna go? Oh, it's gonna be stubborn, even though it's pretty rusty down at the bottom. Huh. Yeah. Do you want me to hold it or anything? Well, if you don't see this video, you don't want it. Okay, let's see now. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty uneventful. Look, it has ramps now. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Too bad all that crap grew good. Yeah. I mean, it was bad. The teething, look how rusty that teething was. Yeah. I and mean, the bottom really. part, for the most part, is good. If someone needed that. Yeah, we'll move the plastic and cut it over, ground it. We're going to cut them. We're going to cut them plates out of there. Okay, I'll get a pry bar. Alright, we're reduced to a flatbed trailer now. This axle's no good. It's got a big bend in it right there, and that probably happened when we loaded it, because it was down in the mud. Not like it really matters. But, the only question is now, what do we do with this thing? Do we continue cutting it up and scrap it? Or just let it go to somebody that might be building a trailer and need some steel? I got what I wanted, which is that C-channel. And I'm not even sure I really wanted that sheep channel as much as the guy that owned the house wanted me to have it to get it out of his yard does that make sense yeah so i guess we'll get this stacked up the fenders will be good good sheet metal it's it's not horribly thick but good good amount of flat steel i don't know i guess we'll work on it probably go ahead and take that axle out since it's no good one's a mobile home axle no just a shortened axle both look like them old camper ones with the lugs that go into the drum. This is what it has been reduced to, and uh, I gotta tell you, I don't know what they were planning on towing this with to use that gooseneck, but that gooseneck mount is just way too low. The deck of the trailer is too low. It not, I mean, there's so many things wrong. Like this is so heavy, and then there's just not enough support here. You're onto something that's just not strong, you know. And the welds are odd corner here lots of holes in that welds lots of holes in the welds a little tack here a weld here nothing in the corner lots of holes um, you know this part here could be cut off this was an addition they added all this i-beam down the side but i mean i don't know i don't think we can go any farther because it's just not cost effective i i can't spend hours and hours um <laughs> you know Bring, trying to bring a trailer back to life that's, you know, spent thousands and thousands of dollars just to have a trailer that's worth what you got into it or less. I already have one of them. <laughs> I, I don't need another one. So we're going to see if anybody wants it for a few hundred bucks. It's at least worth that in scrap steel. Uh, if not, we'll probably just cut it apart and, uh, you know, call it a day. My son said he'd like to have, like, a yard cart 
uh, to run around in his, in his yard. We could probably just cut this back end and take one of these axles and put on here and just cut the cut the rest of it off back here make a little trailer or something i don't know we, we can figure something out if nobody wants it that's what we'll do i guess but it's not going to be an all-out trailer build like the last one because i have no interest in that i'll build i'll build new from from scratch with new steel first because that that was i have too much money in that as i'm sure you're all aware but anyways that's that let's get moving on we've got other work to do other things that need fixed no shortage of broke junk around here. Thanks for watching.